The vehicle now is on internal power, and there is the retraction of the first umbilical. Ground support feeds now terminated to the vehicle. The auto sequence now initiated. The second umbilical uh, is retracting. The launch command now being issued for engine ignition. We have engine start. The engine's coming up to flight speed, turbo pumps at flight speed, and liftoff. All engines at maximum thrust, we have liftoff of the 87th Progress Resupply Vehicle to the International Space Station. The vehicle has cleared the tower, roll and pitch program initiated. All parameters are nominal for first stage performance. All engines on the first stage are performing nominally according to the blockhouse in Baikonur. Structural parameters are all reported to be normal, 42 seconds into the flight. The engines performing normally, vehicle stabilization, structural parameters all normal. Engine pressures are nominal at the one minute mark into the flight. We're less than a minute away from first stage separation. Good pitch and roll program for the vehicle. Arcing out to the northeast. It's chase uh, to reach the International Space Station underway. One minute, 45 seconds into the flight. Standing by for first stage separation. First stage separation confirmed, and the launch shroud will be coming up uh, for its uh, separation, enveloping the Progress craft a short time from now, two and a half minutes into the flight. This is uh, animation on the front screen of the Russian Mission Control Center in Karlyov, outside of Moscow. You can see the ascent plot on the front board at their control center. At the coming up on the three minute mark, everything uh, continuing extremely normal with all of the vehicle functions, good yaw pitch and roll program, good engine performance now on the second stage. And we have uh, launch shroud jettison. The second stage shutdown will come at the uh, 4 minute 37 second mark into the flight, about a minute from now. About 5 minutes and 10 seconds of powered flight remaining. This view now from a television camera on the upper stage of the Soyuz as we are now four minutes, 15 seconds into flight. Standing by for second stage shutdown about 15 seconds from now.
All of the uh, booster structures are showing uh, normal parameters, good engine performance, standing by for second stage set. There's the uh, third stage skirt separation. Second stage separation is confirmed. The uh, progress now being raised into uh, its final stage of ascent by the uh, singular power of the third stage engine on the Soyuz 2.1A booster. Five and a half minutes into the flight, about three minutes and 15 seconds of powered flight remaining. The stage three engine is uh, running normally according to the reports from the blockhouse in Baikonur. Launch time was confirmed at 9.25 and 6 seconds p.m. Central Time, 8.25 and 6 seconds a.m. Baikonur time on Thursday morning. Six minutes into the flight, Two minutes and 45 seconds of powered flight remaining. All of the uh, booster structures are reported to be very stable. Everything is proceeding normally on the uphill climb to deliver the uncrewed Progress 87 resupply craft into its preliminary orbit. Six minutes, 45 seconds into the flight, two minutes of powered flight remaining. Seven minutes, 10 seconds into the flight. Good pitch roll and yaw program for the Soyuz booster, operating normally on the uh, power of its third stage engine. About a minute and a half of powered flight remaining. Again, this view from a camera on the upper stage of the uh, Soyuz booster that lifted off a short time ago from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, beginning a two-day journey for the uncrewed Progress resupply craft to reach the International Space Station. Third stage engine continues to perform normally at the eight-minute mark into the flight. Eight minutes, 15 seconds into the flight, about 30 seconds of powered flight left. We are standing by for third stage shutdown and spacecraft separation just a few seconds from now. Third stage shutdown confirmed and spacecraft separation. We should see the solar rays uh, begin to uh, unfurl momentarily. There they go. And the confirmation has been received of a normal solar array deploy, as well as the navigational antennas. A flawless ascent uh, from the launch pad to its preliminary orbit for the Progress resupply craft. Eight minutes and 45 seconds from launch 
to orbital insertion. Everything went by the book. This view now uh, from the uh, external television camera on the progress vehicle with the data overlay that uh, you should be familiar with at this point as uh, the initial systems of the progress are being tested by the flight controllers at the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolyov outside of Moscow. In the next few hours, there'll be uh, two DV burns, delta velocity burns, that will uh, begin the stair-step increase in altitude for the Progress vehicle as it uh, begins its trek to match the altitude of the International Space Station, setting up the start on Friday night of uh, the automated rendezvous sequence that will result in an automated docking to the aft port of the Zvezda service module on Saturday morning at 12.12 a.m. Central Time, 1.12 a.m. Eastern Time. All of the uh, progress systems are being checked out and reported to be in uh, good configuration as the progress uh, begins its chase to reach the International Space Station in the early morning hours on Saturday. With the progress uh, now safely in orbit, beginning its two-day journey to reach the International Space Station, uh, we can take a look at uh, a different view of the launch as provided uh, by Roscosmos down at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. This was the uh, replay, engine start, liftoff uh, from launch pad cameras that Roscosmos has available to it, and liftoff as uh, the Soyuz booster cleared the tower, arced out to the northeast to begin an 8-minute, 45-second journey to the uh, point of third stage separation and the delivery of the Progress vehicle with 2.7 tons of food, fuel, and supplies for the crew on board the International Space Station.